Hi and welcome. Welcome to the Your Chicago Land Living Show. It's been a while, a minute, but I'm back. Sorry I've been gone for a little bit, but I'm back now. And today I'd like to welcome you to the Your Chicago Land Living Show. My name is Sophia and I am a real estate broker. I'm a coach. And of course, I'm an entrepreneur. Welcome. So today we're going to talk about the final walkthrough. So you got a contract, you executed the contract, went through inspection and everything else, and it's closing time. Wow. Aren't you excited? Well, there's one more thing you've got to do before you go to the closing table to sign on the dotted line and get the keys. So what we call this is the final walkthrough. Yes. So the people that will be at the walkthrough are really the buyers and the buyer's agent, like myself. So your agent would schedule a final walkthrough when does this happen usually within 24 hours of the closing um i like to do it the day of so that you go from your wa final walkthrough to the building and then go right straight into the closing table and you say well why do i have to do a walkthrough i mean it's already my house as soon as i sign well, you do the walkthrough to make sure that the house is in the same condition it was the last time you were there. Now, what the final walkthrough is not is an inspection. We already had the inspection with a qualified inspector who came up with a, an inspection report. So at the final walkthrough, if there are any repairs that you, the buyer, and the seller agreed to, the final walkthrough is an opportunity for you to go through the property and make sure that whatever the seller agreed to fixing, repairing, was done. So besides making sure the house is in still good repair, good state, that it looks like it looked the last time you were there, um, that the property is room swept it's a term to show that all their personal pro properties out of the home and the home is clean and there's no they didn't take anything that was part of the contract that's supposed to belong to the buyer so you come through the property you make sure that everything is in order no personal items then you go through to make sure that the repairs that were agreed upon were done it's a good idea to bring a copy of that agreement that tells you a checklist of the things that we're going to get repaired so that you can go through the property and make sure that it was repaired. Great. So all the repairs have been done. Then, you know, even though it's not an inspection, you might want to go around, turn on all the lights, run the water, just make sure that everything's working. Make sure that the windows still open and close and that, you know, no one put a uh, ball through the window. No, no damages have happened to the property since you were there. Now, I hate to tell you, but sometimes that actually does happen. Maybe during the move, the seller damaged some things, you know, you never know. Or um, there's some cosmetic things that happened during the time the last time you came to the property and this time when you're coming through the walkthrough. It's a good idea to bring uh, something to write with because if there are any damages, those would need to be brought to the closing table. You would discuss that with your attorney to say, hey, you know, they have their personal items still there or there's some damages that weren't there before and also to let them know that the repairs were done. The attorney will want to know that. Now, after the final walkthrough and you head to the closing table and you've discussed with your attorney if there are any 
things that were damaged or their personal properties, whatever it is that is an issue, there are a couple of things that can happen. One is that the seller's attorney and the buyer's attorney would agree to holding back some money, giving the seller some time to go and get the rest of the items or um, repair any damages that they did while they were um, moving out. So that's something that could happen. And then once the seller makes those changes, they would bring it back to the attorneys and um, both parties would sign to allow the seller to get the rest of their money. So the wa final walkthrough is pretty important. You don't want to miss it. Make sure that your agent schedules it. Make sure that you show up and that you go through it. Make sure you bring um, a pen and paper to write down things. Make sure you bring any agreements that you signed that have to do with any repairs that need to be done. And I'm sure your agent will do the same. So, congratulations again. I am so excited for you. You're at the like final stages of your home purchase. So don't stress, this one is just a walk in the park. So with a good agent by your side, you have nothing to worry about. Thanks for joining. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. This channel is devoted to helping buyers and sellers. Um, I basically put down questions, frequently asked questions, and try to help you step through the process and make it a little bit easier and a little bit more fun. Also, we have um, information about just nice things to do in the Chicagoland area. So keep watching and thanks for watching. Make it a great day. Bye.